So today the mailman dropped off my Lush Labs package. So I just wanted to get on here and show you guys my latest Lush Labs haul. Now I do have another package coming from Lush. Uh, the UK site, they did like pop up some of the party uh, themed products. Uh, so that package will be coming hopefully within like the next couple of days and I'm so excited because I feel like it's been a while since I have actually made any kind of Lush demo. I feel like it's been like two weeks or so. I know it has been a while. Uh, so yeah, I just want to show you guys what I decided to pick up. I did get both of the bath oils and thankfully today it's actually kind of chilly outside. So my bath oils arrived looking pretty dang good. And the first one is called Cream and it looks just like the Scream mask. Uh, from the movie Scream and I just love it. Um, it has the happy blooming fragrance is what I'm hearing and the scent description is ylang ylang cherry sweet almond oil. It's supposed to just have like a cherry kind of marzipan type scent. To me it definitely has a sweet cherry scent but like a hint of floral in there and that's probably the ylang ylang that I'm smelling. So that's what the front of him looks like and then the back is just like a very dark purple collar. So I'm really excited to see what this is going to look like. Since it's kind of chilly I'm probably going to do a demo of one of these bath oils tonight. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, the next one and this is so stinking cute. This is called the Impatient Bath Oil. So like impatient, but it is a little imp. How adorable is this little guy? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. He is so stinking cute. And this one has a scent description of Rose Absolute as well as Pink Pepper. And it smells so, so nice. Oh, I definitely smell the rose in it, but it does have almost like a little bit of spiciness to it as well. It's like a sweet but spicy, which goes with the name. Almost reminds me of like a Sour Patch Kid. Not as in like the fragrance, but just, you know, first they're sweet, then they're sour. But not necessarily sour, just spicy. Oh, but I absolutely love that. It is so cute. I know it's kind of hard to see too, uh, but the molding of his mouth, it looks like he, he has this like big toothy grin on its face. Like it's just up to no good. So I absolutely love that. And I will say like I already sniffed everything when my box came and absolutely everything I purchased, I am just loving the sense of, everything like everything just just oh it put such a smile on my face my whole kitchen just smelled amazing and i'm so excited to try these products so i did um buy two hair care products i don't typically always go for the hair care products unless it's something that just really really interests me especially because especially with the labs um i'm always afraid i'm gonna really just fall completely in love with something and then I won't be able to buy it again. You know what I mean? And that just oh, would suck. So it would be really awesome to see some of these products come out um, to actually purchase in, in the shops and everything like that. So I went with the Willow the Wisp and this is actually a thickening spray or what they call a thickening serum, I should say. So basically you just pump like two pumps of this into your hands and then work it through your damp, like wet hair. And then you blow dry your hair as normal. And it's supposed to pump up the volume of your hair, which I definitely could use. So I figured I would try it out. It's actually made with Epsom salt, sea salt, there's lemon juice in here, lime juice, silken tofu, and then pretty much every kind of <laughs> rose ingredient you could think of. Rose absolute, rose oil, rosewood oil. So the, <laughs> it is colored, which kind of was like, to me, I'm like, what? You know what I mean? 
but I am going to pump a little bit out onto my hands so we can see, but let me get a good whiff of it first. To me, I smell the lemon and the lime, but it definitely has a rosy tone to the scent. So it smells really good though. I'm excited to try it. So we'll see if it how well it works. I'm going to start using this and then I am going to do a review video of it. So I'm just going to pump I just pumped one pump into my hand. So you can kind of just see the consistency a little bit here. So that's what it looks like. So it says two pumps, but I would say depending on your hair length and stuff like that. Like right now, I think my hair length would probably be two pumps, but if it were longer, um, I would probably maybe put in three. So the next thing I decided to get was the Wasabi Shanku Shampoo. I don't know if I am pronouncing that right and I apologize. Um, I did not actually <laughs> Google this beforehand. Usually when there's a word I'm not quite sure how to say, I'll Google it so I don't look like an idiot <laughs> when I'm filming, but I didn't get a chance to do that. So apologies. Uh, this really interested me. Um, is supposed to thicken your hair, which again was something I could use um, in a shampoo. But the thing was, it's made with fresh horseradish and there's actually wasabi in there. And I was thinking like, man, the shampoo, it's probably going to work amazing, but it's probably going to smell horrible. Like I'm just, I was expecting it to just be like really stinky. And it's not. I really like the scent of this. It's weird, but pleasant to me. So like I said, it's supposed to promote hair growth. It's made with fresh horseradish. There's caffeine powder in this, menthol crystals, the wasabi, but then it actually has like nicer fragrance notes of rose. And then there's gardenia and Sicilian lemon oil. So to me, I smell Gosh, it's so weird. Like I want to say I, I, I smell the horseradish, but it's not bad. It's really not bad. So like if you were like me and you were looking at like the ingredients of this and you're just kind of like, what the heck? I am not going to want to put that on my hair. It's going to stink. It does not. It smells really good. It does. It smells fantastic. And I'm really excited to try that. Let me put a little bit of this onto my hands. This is a very thick shampoo. It almost seems like it's got kind of a gritty consistency to it. It's de it's definitely not um sm like real smooth looking and even like putting it on my hand like this, I do feel a bit of um grittiness to it. But yeah, it's like it's slightly sweet with that Sicilian lemon oil, but it's got that like kickiness from like the horseradish and the wasabi. God, it, it smells actually good enough to eat. I'm not gonna try it though. <laughs> I promise myself I'm not gonna try it. Very tempting. Um, to me, I almost feel like it smells like a Skittles candy like the yellow skittles because i'm smelling like the lemon but just an undertone of the horseradish <laughs> it seems so weird to be describing this shampoo but like i said i'm really excited to try it both um this and the will o' the wisp products i am going to start using and then I will be doing a kind of review of those, um, how they're working and everything like that. So 
Next, I purchased, I didn't purchase everything from the labs or anything like that. It was just stuff that interested me. So I did get all three of the shower jellies because they were new and I'm so glad I did. These are all actually sold out currently. I don't know if they will be restocking them or anything like that, but oh my god i absolutely love every single one of the scents on these shower jellies so the first one and this is just beautiful this is the conga shower jelly it's the most gorgeous pink it looks like pepto bismol but it's absolutely beautiful it's made with fresh raspberry juice vanilla absolute as well as bergamot oil and you guys this smells so so good let's pop it on out of here so you can see it a little better oh my goodness oh my god this smells so good I definitely smell the raspberries in this. It's so sweet, so lovely, and just smells so creamy. Like it smells like, to me, a creamy hard candy. I don't know if you guys remember, and I don't think they make them anymore. Lifesavers used to make a candy called Cream Savers. And to me, I swear it smells like a raspberry cream saver. Oh my gosh, I just cannot get over the scent of this. It is absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful to look at because it's a beautiful pink and the scent of it is just amazing. I love it. Raspberry and vanilla, they're like the perfect combo for like ice cream as well. And I kind of, I kind of get that too. It's just that creaminess to it. it oh, love it. So the next shower jelly is called Bongo and this one smells just as fantastic. Oh my god. So here's what it looks like. Like the jelly-like um, consistency of the shower jelly and then there's like swirled bits of a more creamier jelly. So doesn't that look like a dessert? That looks just like something you would just eat. And it smells so good. So this one is made with mango juice and coconut milk. There's also oak wood absolute in this as well as vanilla absolute. And to me, I definitely smell the coconut in this. It smells to me like a tropical smoothie. It's definitely a summertime fragrance, but I also swear, like, it reminds me of butterscotch. Like a sweet, vanilla, coconutty butterscotch smell. Ah, oh, I absolutely love this. Like, all of these scents of these products that I purchased are just, I'm loving. I absolutely love. There's nothing that, like, I took a whiff of and I was just kind of like, mm. You know what I mean? It's all been just so amazingly scented. So I am just tickled pink. And then the last shower jelly was called Beets. I like the names of these. We have Conga, Bongo, and Beets. So now this one here is very, very minty. So you can see it is black and there's actually activated charcoal in this and it does have just this beautiful shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because it is such a dark uh, black shower jelly, but there is a gorgeous shimmer inside of that and so super minty. I think I heard this was scrub 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 scented but I don't really feel like it is to me they have this described as a fresh mint infusion there's a uh, peppermint oil in this as well as menthol crystals and to me it's just a very very pepperminty mint scent I think it smells like candy canes just straight up 
candy canes. I don't smell any real sharpness of menthol. I just feel like I smell a very strong peppermint scent, but it smells great. And I'm usually not like the biggest fan of mints, especially when they're like super duper strong. And this I would say is a pretty dang strong mint fragrance, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. I absolutely love it. I will say based off scent alone, my favorite would be Conga. Second favorite would be the Bongo. And then the third Beats just because, um, Mint isn't my first fragrance that I would gravitate towards, but that smells fantastic. And like I said, it also has the activated charcoal in it. So that is everything I purchased this time around from the Lush Labs. Um, I did want to try the brush strokes uh, face mask, but they wouldn't ship that uh, to the US because it was considered a fresh face mask. Um, so that was a little disappointing. And I was a little curious about the dry shampoo um, powder bar thing that they were offering. Uh, but I have so many other dry shampoos and I was just kind of like, hmm. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about about that one in particular, but I'm really happy with what I purchased. I can't wait to start trying everything out. Um, you will be seeing demos of both bath oils. I promise that this time around. Uh, last time I never uh, got around to demoing the um, I Want a Pony bath oil, but you will see these two bath oils. You will see a review of both hair products, and then I'll see what I can do um, if I do do anything with the jellies or not, I'm not quite sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You'll have to let me know if you purchased anything from um, this Lush Labs. I was, the next voting round for the Lush Labs has come about and I was thinking about doing a, like filming a video of, um, just me kind of voting like you guys like watching me vote and then you can you know say down in the comments like which ones you voted for which ones you would have voted for kind of thing if you're interested in me doing that um let me know i'm not quite sure how long i have yet to uh do my voting hopefully that hasn't passed yet because i haven't gotten around to voting <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you next time